Hey you, welcome to Build the Damn Thing, a place where myself, Tiffany Largi, and our amazing Do the Damn Thing coaches show you how to use your story to build it all. Whether it's your first six figures, your next layer of multiple six figures, or maybe you're on your way to a million. And if it's not that, it's the life of your dreams, where you are free, you are strong, and you are whole. First, we're going to show you how to use your story to build a strong foundation. And then next, we're going to show you how to use your story in sales and marketing to clean up the cracks. And last but not least, we're going to show you how to use your story to gather people. Because the uh, truth of the matter is that there's nothing stronger than being connected to people who just understand you as you are where you are so you can stop explaining yourself. I want to remind you that now that you're here, you are home and I officially welcome you to our family. All right, let's get started. Now listen, I really do believe that every single business out there should be building some form of an educational component to upping their dollars ridiculously. The truth of the matter is that we are leaving too much money on the table as experts. Like we literally just throw money away by only doing for people versus teaching people. There's a big difference between doing for someone and getting paid for what you do and getting paid for what you know. The best excitement in life I find when we build is when we're able to use both. The person who is simply using their labor without their knowledge to generate income, whether it's through a job or a business, whatever it is, not only are they leaving a, a blank ton of money on the table, but they're also leaving a ton of happiness. Um, like they're just letting it walk out the door. There's something like there's something that's just self satisfactory with combining the two. Now, one of the biggest things that I see in today's market is that we tend to have a lot of experts who are leading with what they can do for people versus leading for, through what they know. Now, back in the day, I remember selling Xerox um, products. And I think of this season, I'm talking a lot about Xerox. I have a lot of respect for them as a company. But I was selling these products and the truth was that we had to sell on value and we had to sell on what we know because we were the highest priced products in the market. And if we walked in through the door and told everybody, hey, here are the speeds and feeds and this is what this thing does and it can copy at 50 pages a minute and things like that, everybody was saying that they could do the same thing. The second that we insert or we lean on or we own into like we can do this and by doing this, this is the value, that is where you become a commodity. That is where you stay in the land of average. That is where you are nothing cut above the rest. That is when you are nothing special. And that's when you are also nothing that I'm going to pay for. There is something crazy valuable for you in stepping in front of what you can do from someone and stepping inside of what you know. Stepping inside of what you know is one of the greatest arts that have been left behind. And it takes confidence to be able to do so. Do you know that you could actually pay your bills with confidence if you just rode the curtail of confidence until the wheels flip and fell off? But because we um, get into, like, I think that part of the problem for most experts is they get into this crazy place of looking at other providers or experts and they're like, oh, well, I do do this thing, but I don't do it nearly as great as such and such and such. And it's like, well, what if you just omit, omitted such and such and such for from the equation? What would happen then? The equation of you getting into what you know is nothing short of you saying to yourself, okay, great. I have, I know that I may not be able to tell you the nitty gritty of how to build a whole business to a million dollars, but I surely do know how to get started. I know what not to do. I know how to do it with your fa with, you know, with a family around me, forcing me into crazy places. And I also know how to do it and feel confident uh, in selling the price that you're worth. So what if you just said, oh, I'm not going to teach people how to grow the whole damn thing, but I am going to teach them how to start. Imagine just teaching them how to start. Yes. There's something crazy clear for me about the person who's willing to say, you know what, let me lead with what I know versus just lead with um, this. So I want to talk about how do you build an expert-based business. I'm going to keep this real simple and then we're going to wrap this up. An expert-based business, I want you to think to yourself that there are a couple of different modalities in which you can get paid from. There's audio, there's text, and there's video. There's also in-person, virtually, right? Thank God for Zoom and other platforms like it. 
And then there is uh, in person physically. Now, the best um, uh, for me, my favorite experts are those who figure out how to get paid from all five. I'm going to give you an example of in person, virtual, et cetera, that you can do because we have sold all five in one of our companies. Um, but uh, let me just get into it. So, first, a book. There's book, there's ebook, there's text, there's checklist, there's templates. So much money is being left on the table by not taking your knowledge and putting in one to those three to five different formats, checklists, templates. Do you know how to do something? You would be surprised. Yes, but Tiffany, they could get it for free online. Yes, but they don't trust Mark Johnson. So it doesn't matter. They trust you. Selling these things for seven, 12, 20, and $30 is actually so much easier than you think. The second area I said, um, uh, some form of written text, whatever. Okay. So that's written. We could do the same thing in a video just like this. We could be like, Hey, here's the top 10 things that you need to do. Da, 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 da. The other way is through, um, audio, right? So the other side of what I'm doing right now is an audio. There's, there's, it's a podcast. There is audio at play. I could totally not have the video, put the audio up, sell it, create steps for someone else to follow, and they will pay me $5. Now forget the $500. Focus on fucking $5. Think about this for a moment. $5 is a big deal. But Tiffany, can I pay a bill with $5? You may not be able to. But if a hundred people take you up on that $5, you know what you have? You know what you got, baby girl? You got $500. Most of these areas in which you can create something really quickly right now, you actually build it once and then you put it in motion forever. Uh, I'm going to jump over to in-person and virtual. So Let's say you're like, Tiffany, I don't like any of those things. I don't want to build any of those things. That's okay. You know what you could do today? You could totally, totally put yourself in front of uh, what we call VIP days, strategy sessions, intimate moments in which you can help the person who's connected to you or not connected to you. You can help them accomplish a thing by charging them by the hour, by the half day, or by the full day. You can do it virtually or you can do it in person. At any given time, Depending on who you're going to engage with and what you need to come into our world for, that price point might be anywhere from 5K to, I don't know, 15, 20, 25K. But the person on the other end is going to get the value for what they're paying for. They have a pretty big problem that they need to solve. So instead of going the slow route, they're going to pay $14,000 and they're going to get that problem solved rapidico, fast. The same thing applies to a virtual space. Think about it. Have you been married for 20 years and you can help that couple that's struggling and help them wrap up whatever the hell's not working for them in a matter of six months? For the woman who's been 500 pounds for the last four years and she is struggling in her marriage and all of the things around, are you a kick-ass trainer and you just know how to keep people motivated and keep them moving and you can help her get down to her goal weight of 220? And maybe that's not you. Maybe you're like, Tiffany, I don't do any of those things. But you have enthusiastic homeowners who just love to proactively DIY their house. And maybe you've already gone through the cut and you, your company has helped them to clean their HVAC or clean their sinks or whatever it might be. But you could have a course. You could totally teach them live and say uh, you could rent an Airbnb or bring them into your house. Or maybe if you have a rental property and you could be like, hey, here are the 10 things that you should be doing every month or every quarter to proactively up your house game and to maintain value and to reduce things from breaking. It's $199 for the class, but you're going to get $20,000 worth of repairs that you don't have to pay somebody. That is a no-brainer. The knowledge that we have in our head is the overlooked kind of like elephant in the room in every room that I find. And the more that we don't sell it, the more that we inhibit ourselves from reaching the financial freedom and the financial outcome that we could and or that's one way but maybe you know how to do something and you take your knowledge and you plug it into a company that is growing you'd be surprised how many great ceos there are out there who are building something and they want to build with you or they want to build with great people and in the long run for the people who stay the course they're going to share a part of the puzzle they're going to share a part of the pie they're going to give them something more than just a paycheck. They're going to give them a home, a place to build to. And that for me is invaluable. So I know this has been really, really short, but I wanted to just get you thinking about things that you could start building. And I really want you to be a steward of saying to yourself, well, what money am I leaving on the table? And what could I be doing right now? Um, if you can't create a thing, then you can just sell 
time. And that's something everybody can do in the next 48 hours. That is something you could totally use to up your cash because you don't need anything. You need a phone call. You need a way to either see them through a computer or meet them in a park. And that is it. You don't need worksheets. You don't need a workbook. You don't, from a person who's made multiple six figures before I built all this, I haphazardly had a six month coaching program that basically said, I'm going to give you my time for six months every other Monday. And that's it. I'm not making no promises. We're not even going to talk about anything specific. I'm not going to overhaul your life. There is no fancy name. It was called the six month coaching program. Boom. And with that, I'm going to tell you from a person who used that to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars and as half-assed as some people might think that that was, the win for the person is that they got my knowledge and my time. And my time was worth way more than the $7,500 that I charged them. You just need to be confident enough to solve some of your problems by selling your time and doing it over and over again, either by the hour, by the day, or by the month until you make enough cash to solve all the problems in your business. This you can build in the next 24 hours. And the only thing that is stopping is the excuses that you're going to hold on to. You and I have just walked through a totally, stupidly amazing episode of Build the Damn Thing. And if you're like, Tiffany, what the hell do I do next? Head to strappedhustle.com. And if it's not that, leave a comment somewhere, wherever the hell you're seeing this and go, what the hell do I do? Does this work? Did I do this shit right? I just need some help in these streets. We've got you. I hope that episode was amazing for you and you are closer to building the damn thing. I can't wait to hear what your thoughts were, what part you loved, and the action that you're going to go take. Because the truth of the matter is that the person who wins is not the person who gets there first. It's the person who takes action first. Now, I've got a gift for you, and it is at www.strappedhustle.com. It is imperative that you run there and you see all types of goodies, starting with the seven must-haves that you've got to put when telling your story. There is so much deliciousness awaiting for you. I would love nothing more than for you to go ahead and give us a thumbs up and a five-star review on not just this episode, but this entire series of how do you build the damn thing. Like always, if there's anything that we can do to make your weekday or month better, please let us know. And more importantly, I can't wait to see you live. Whether it's at Do The Damn Thing Live or in one of our communities, or maybe you're just hanging out with us on social media. What I know to be true is that I am meant to connect with you somewhere, and I can't wait for that day to happen. And more importantly, I can't wait to see what you build.